An international team of researchers has made a spectacular discovery and tracked down Kipu, one of the largest known structures in the entire universe. In detail, the colossal structure weighs 200 quadrillion solar masses and extends over an incredible length of more than 1.3 billion light years. But unfortunately, the superstructure also throws our previous models out the window. Because actually, and this is the crucial point, the theoretical size limit of the cosmic giants is only 1.2 billion light years. And to make matters even more complicated, astronomers have discovered two more giants in the form of the giant arc and the big ring, which shouldn't actually exist in this form. As a historically aware viewer, you will of course immediately think of the Incas when you hear the keyword Kipu. No wonder, because, as is well known, this was also the name of the special knot system that this legendary advanced civilization once used to record data. To be more precise, the Incas used an ingenious combination of knots and cords to record quantities or to organize the flow of messages. And it's no coincidence that the new megastructure that has now been added to the star maps has also been named after this particular writing system. Just like a kipu string, this gigantic outgrowth of the cosmos is also composed of numerous long and several side threads. But what makes it so special at the end of the day are its almost ridiculously large dimensions. As already mentioned at the beginning, it not only has an incredible 200 quadrillion solar masses, at more than 1.3 billion light years long, it is also 13,000 times larger than our Milky Way. Even the enormous Laniakea supercluster, which encompasses 100,000 other galaxies in addition to our home world, is not even half the size of Kipu, with a diameter of only 520 million light years. But what is the story behind this double XL structure? And how is it that experts have overlooked it for so long? Well. The discovery was made as part of a long-term research project to map the distribution of matter in the universe at different wavelengths. In principle, distant structures in the cosmos show a shift in their wavelengths towards the red part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and the greater this so-called redshift, the further away the objects are from us. And while the structures with a redshift of up to 0.3 have already been extensively recorded, the scientists concentrated in their new study on structures with redshifts between 0.3 and 0.6. In the course of this, the researchers relied on data from the German X-ray satellite ROSAT and a special algorithm. And in this way, they were able to uncover not just one, but five superstructures, which are between 425 million and 815 million light years from Earth. These are the Shapley supercluster, once thought to be the largest structure in the local universe, Serpens Corona Borealis, Hercules, Sculptor Pegasus, and, of course, Kipu. And here comes the kicker. This cosmic quintet of superlatives alone contains 45% of all known galaxy clusters, 30% of all galaxies, 25% of all matter, and it occupies about 13% of the observable universe. How Kipu Distorts Data So far, so gigantic. But in the same breath, the experts emphasize in their study that structures as huge as Kipu also have measurable effects on our observations of space. More specifically, this refers to the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB for short, and thus that relic from the early days of the universe, which was created about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, during the so-called recombination epoch, and still fills the entire universe today. Usually, the measured properties of the CMB correspond almost exactly to the theoretical predictions. But when the radiation encounters giants like Kipu, their extreme gravity can cause changes according to the so-called Sachs-Wolf effect. However, since these disturbances are very difficult to filter out, they can ultimately also distort our understanding of the microwave background and thus of the Big Bang. Another complication concerns the determination of the Hubble constant, which indicates how fast the universe is currently expanding. Here, it's important to consider that the movement of galaxies is altered by the extreme gravity of the superstructure, which can ultimately lead to measurement inaccuracies. But then there is also the fact that Kipu can distort the light of distant objects due to gravitational lensing, thus affecting the precision of astronomical measurements. 
But despite all the complications, the Colossus seems to agree with the predictions of the Lambda CDM model. This serves as a standard model for describing the development of the cosmos since the Big Bang, and the corresponding simulations showed that such superstructures can indeed arise from known cosmic processes. And yet, the actual work of the researchers has only just begun. The next step is to further explore the interactions of Kipu and its neighbors with galaxy clusters, and to clarify how they influence the formation and evolution of galaxies in detail. But the role that such structures play for dark matter could also be an important field of research for the experts. However, the scientists should not take an infinite amount of time for this challenging task. No matter how gigantic the structure may be, it will not remain in existence forever, and astronomers assume that Kipu will eventually dissolve in the course of further cosmic development. Why the giant structures shouldn't actually exist in addition to the problems that Kipu and company present us with when examining space, they also have another, not insignificant catch. Because strictly speaking, they shouldn't exist at all in this form. And true to the motto, one impossibility rarely comes alone, astronomers have also discovered two other cosmic giants in the past, the giant arc and the big ring, to which this also applies. This is for the simple reason that, according to the cosmological standard model, matter should be distributed relatively evenly throughout the universe. Although local large-scale structures, such as galaxy clusters or superclusters, undoubtedly exist, the distribution of matter in sections of the sky on a large scale always appears to be the same. Well, or at least it should, because in reality, in 2021, experts have identified a gigantic arc of galaxies and galaxy clusters that with an expansion of a whopping 3.3 billion light-years, is seriously shaking this established assumption. According to the experts, the theoretical size limit is only 1.2 billion light-years, and if the distribution of matter in the cosmos is still supposed to be uniform, even its largest outgrowths must not exceed this limit. However, since the universe is apparently not particularly interested in our models and predictions, in January of last year, the experts uncovered another structure that completely overturns our previous understanding. Just as in the case of the giant arc, this discovery was also made by a research team led by Alexia Lopez of the University of Central Lancashire in England. This time, however, it was not an arc, but a ring-shaped structure that was revealed by the light spectrum of distant quasars. More precisely, the galaxies and galaxy clusters contained in it left telltale absorption lines of magnesium ions. And just like Kipu, this cosmic giant also extends over 1.3 billion light years. Scientists estimate the circumference of the ring to be as much as 4.4 billion light years, which means that it would take up as much space in the night sky as 15 full moons lying next to each other. Well, that is, if you could see it, of course. But in reality, the light from the galaxy ring, which is about 9.2 billion light years away, is too weak to be visible to telescopes, let alone the naked eye. What we can see, however, is that we are now aware of three structures that blatantly contradict our current models of how matter is distributed in space. But the ring of gamma ray sources, discovered a few years ago and measuring about 5 billion light years across, should not go unmentioned at this point either. But how is all this even possible? After all, the fact that the giant arc and the big ring are located in the same area of the sky and are also about the same age adds to this. Both structures therefore already existed at a time when the universe was only about half as old as it is today. And the question inevitably arises as to whether they could possibly even be part of a single, even larger system. Unfortunately, however, experts can only speculate about the true background of these superstructures. One approach is based on the assumption that the structures are connected to so-called baryonic acoustic oscillations, or BOW for short. These are density waves that were created in the early cosmos by the interplay between radiation pressure and gravity, leaving behind ring-shaped patterns in the distribution of matter. However, the rings generated by BOW usually have a radius of only 500 million light years. But apart from its size, the big ring also doesn't seem to fit into this scheme. Although it appears circular from our point of view, spectral analyses have shown that it's actually spiral-shaped. So we need alternative explanations, and one of them is based on the exciting cycle model of Roger Penrose. 
The British physicist and Nobel Prize winner is in fact convinced that the Big Bang was by no means the beginning of everything, but merely the dawn of a new cosmic age. After all, the universe is supposed to follow a higher cycle of destruction and rebirth. In this context, Penrose also postulated gigantic rings as relics of Hawking radiation, which originate from previous supermassive black holes and are carried over into the subsequent cycle. In addition, the effects of cosmic strings are also consulted to explain superstructures such as the Big Ring and Giant Arc. On paper, these are extremely thin but long thread-like defects in space that were created shortly after the formation of the universe by the splitting of the fundamental forces. With their gravitational effect, however, these strings are also said to have influenced the development of large-scale structures, and yet, at the end of the day, these are only theories that have not yet led to the solution of this enormous astronomical mystery. Whether we will really succeed in explaining the existence of these confusing objects is currently still written in the stars, and we can look forward to seeing how many impossible structures astronomers will catch in the future. And if you go online in the future, you're very welcome to return to our channel. Just press the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.